hey guys welcome back to my channel lolita stitches so today we'll be learning how to make this beautiful kimono jacket with open slit and a flare sleeve so let's get right to work if you are a returning subscriber you are very much welcome and if you're checking out this channel for the first time you are welcome also kindly click the subscribe button to get notified each time i upload a new video to subscribe is totally free all right let's get to work so today i'll be teaching us how to make a kimono jacket okay very simple and very easy i'll be making use of four yards of uh, fabric to determine the quantity of fabric to put on fold we, we make use of the largest circumference of the body and in this case, the largest circumference is the hip. Okay, our bust is 35, while our hip is 39. So we'll be making use of 39 to fold because it is a gown. Okay, so let me fold and let's get started. Now I have folded and I've cut it out. This is for the back. And this will be for the front. If you notice, the front is two inches wider than the back okay so all the measurements will be taken will start from here okay so now on this line i will impute half of my arm o measurement half of my client's arm o is nine inches and that will serve as the chest line okay then from shoulder to waist is 17 inches then we mark shoulder to waist which is 17 inches then we mark shoulder to hip which in this case is 25 inches then from shoulder to the length of my fabric okay and the length of my client is 45 inches the length of my client is 45 inches here I have 46.5 okay so I added 1.5 inches extra for the allowance. Can you see that? Now let's rule all of this line into a straight line. Okay, so now let's continue. Now that we have extended all our lines into a straight line, let me quickly go over it again. This is the shoulder line, the arm hole line, the waist line, the hip line, and the length of the fabric plus the allowance, okay? So now let's impute our measurements. So on this shoulder line now, I will impute half of my shoulder measurement, which is 15. 15 divided by two will give me 7.5 plus half inch allowance, that will be eight. So I'll mark that right here. Eight right here too. And I'll rule this. I'll connect it with this line okay just like this can you see that then I'll come here and look for half of this which is 4.5 so from from there now I will make my arm or curve just like this okay this is it for the ammo curve then I'll go in with 0 0.75 that one will be for the front ammo and I'll connect it gently back to this place and like this okay so this will be for our front ammo and this will be for the back arm o the front arm o is always deeper 
But remember, in this case now, the, the fabric at the upper part is the back, while this is the front, because the front we have facing, these two inches extra is, for, is facing allowance, okay? I hope you understand that. So let's continue. Here I'm working with neck width of three inches. I'll mark that here. And neck depth of three inches. So we have three by three. Okay. And I'll connect that just like this. Then for the back neckline, one inch for the neck depth. Then we we'll connect same three inches for the neck width. So this is it for the neckline. Then let's start imputing our horizontal measurements. So on this armhole line, which is the chest line, I will impute my bust measurement. Our bust measurement is 35. 35 divided by 4 will give us 8.75. Let me just round that off to 9. Then half inch for ease. We are going to add half inch for ease. Half inch for ease, one and half inch for seam allowance. So here I have 11. Then we come to the waistline. It's a dartless body, so we will not be including that because it is. We will not be imputing that because it's a kimono jacket. It's, it's a jacket. So now on the waistline, we impute our waist measurement. Our waist measurement is 32. 32 divided by 4 is 8. Okay, plus half inch is. Remember to always add the ease allowance. Half inch for ease, then one inch. Half inch for ease, then one and a half inch seam allowance. That will give me 10. You mark that right here. Then on the hip line, 39 divided by 4 will give us 9.75. Plus half inch seam allowance. Let me just round that off to 10. 10 plus half inch seam allowance. That is 10.5. Plus one and a half inches seam allowance. Um, half inch for ease. One and a half inch seam allowance. That is 12 altogether. Okay. So on the elm line. Whatever we have here. 12 is what we bring down here. 12 inches. I hope you understand. Okay, so I'll connect that now. From the chest line to the waist line, I'll connect. Then from waist to hip, just use your free hand to give it a slight curve like this. Then you connect straight down to the M line, just like this. Okay, so it's as simple as that. Okay, so now we'll come here and mark our shoulder slope, which is half an inch. From there, you connect to the nape of the neck just like this. All right, so let's go ahead and cut it out. So when we get here, we cut the back neckline alone okay so now let's go ahead and cut the armhole then when you are trimming the armhole you trim the back armhole alone the back armhole first we we'll trim the front armhole later so can you see what we have now Then we go ahead and trim the shoulder slope. So now we can go ahead to separate the back from the front. I told you this is the back because the front is wider. So since we have these lines, I'll just replicate the neckline, okay? So now we can go ahead and 
and trim the front neckline then the front arm hole also which is 0 0.75 inches deeper so all we have to do Now we can go ahead and slit the front opened. So we slit the front open just like this. Then remember to place a notch on the two inches allowance, just a little notch so that you'll be able to demarcate it. All right, so when you are folding for your sleeve, okay, divide your arm hole by two. Arm hole circumference, you divide it by two. Whatever it gives you is what we determine the quantity of fabric to put on fold for the sleeve, okay? That's just a little secret. So my arm hole circumference is 20, dividing that by two, I will have 10. So that is what we determine the quantity of fabric you will put on fold so you come right here and mark five inches all right then you make an inverted s just like this okay so our ham o and the dress is 11 and that is what we want here too so 11.5 then the sleeve length is 13 inches plus one in that makes it 14 that's why we have 14 here the round sleeve of my client is 12 inches 12 divided by 2 will give me 6 plus one inch or let's say one and a half inch because I'll turn it with lining that will give me 7.5 so we mark that right here and then we connect from here to this place just like this okay so now we can go ahead and cut it all right so just for confirmation we check and see what we have here all right we have our 11 inches so we can go ahead to trim it okay so now we'll cut two of this and now let's move to the flared aspect it's time to fold for the flare attached to the sleeve okay so we'll be working with a sleeve length of the flare i mean we want the length to be six inches so we will quickly do a little mathematics remember for this flare now we'll be working with the round sleeve measurement and our round sleeve is 12 inches so we'll be working with um length of six inches for the longer flare then the other one will be let's say four inches or three inches so now we work with our round sleeve divide your round sleeve measurement by 6.28 that is that is the standard for a full circle a full circle flare now 12 divided by 6.28 will give me 1.9 now you add the, the 1.9 to the length of your to the length of your flare 1.9 plus 6 that will give me 7.9 let me just say 8 inches then plus 1 inch allowance you know we'll fold it at down we'll join it at the top so altogether we have 9 inches okay so I want this 9 now
So I'll come here and mark 9 inches and I'll fold it into 2. We are doing all of this calculation so that we will not waste fabric unnecessarily, okay? So now I can cut it out. Alright, so now this is it. Then we can fold into, you know, we are folded into two. Our nine inches here, we even have excess. Then we further fold, and this will make it into four. Okay? So now that we have our fabric folded into four, we'll start placing our 1.9 first 1.9 don't approximate it into two make make use of that 1.9 that exact 1.9 1.9 so that will be for the radius of our circle by making use of 1.9 for the radius of our circle then from there now we mark the length of our flare. We said we want length. We wanted um, six inches. All right, plus one inch for the allowance. That's seven. So we mark the seven. Seven all around, all through, just like this. Seven. Okay. Seven. So we connect that just like this. Can you see? So here now we we'll just add like half an inch allowance because we don't want if we cut on this exact line when we open it up, it will be more than the 12 that we wanted. So now we we'll cut on this new line now. Okay. Here we cut this one. Okay, so now I will fold exactly the same way to cut for... So I will fold exactly the same way to cut the second part. Can you see? Can you see what we have? So if you measure the radius now, can you see, we have 6 inches, 6 times 2, that's 12, so that is exactly what we want. Now I will place this on another fabric to cut the second one. Now I folded, this other, this one is for the second flare, the smaller one. So just place this, place the first one on it to get the radius. To get the radius, okay? Because the radius will be the same. It's only the length that varies. So now we can separate that. Then we'll be making use of... Um, we'll be making use of 5 inches for this one. Because when we are done folding, everything will be 4 inches. So we want it 2 inches shorter than the first one. So you mark your five inches. Okay. So this is it for our flare. We are going to cut two of this now and two of this, okay? So this is what we have at the end of the day. Can you see that? So this is two inches wider than the other one, can you see? So this is what we want to achieve. So this is it for the lining. Let me just quickly explain to you. When you are cutting the lining, when you are cutting for the back, cut exactly the same way. But when you are cutting for the front, remember the two inches we left for facing, then you are going to fold it. 
Remember, we have already placed the notch. Then you fold it, fold the two inches like this. Can you see? So this is two inches. Why? What is the excess of this? It's because we don't want the lining showing at that front part. So this we serve as the interfacing, which is two inches. Can you see that? So you place it like half an inch. So the lining and the and the front piece will not start on the same will not start on the same piece. Can you see that? So you place this like half an inch over the lining, just like that. So you trace it out. That is just the difference when cutting the front lining and the back lining. And like this. So that is it, it's just as simple as that. Then let's move to the down part. Let me just turn it so that you can see it. So now for the down part, okay, you know we'll be folding one inch in for the seam allowance. So now we're going to trim this. I'm going to trim this lining off okay just like this then we are also going to slit the lining open remember we slit the front open so we slit the lining open also okay so that is it for the front lining so this is it for the back lining because it's exactly we cut the lining exactly the same way we cut the fabric so let me turn it to this side and show you clearly so what we did for the front we are still going to do it for the back remember this is the this is the allowance okay so we fold in the allowance so we are just going to use this to trim to trim off the excess just like we did for the front okay so this is what we have for the lining for the back like this all right so that is it then the linings then this is for the back panel the two sleeves you can cut lining for it or not depending on what you want then this is it for the flag for the sleeve okay so this is it if you find any value in this video remember to click the like button if you are yet to subscribe kindly subscribe so as you can see now here is the front part and i've gone ahead to Turn it with lining. Can you see how neat the inner part looks? It's looking so neat and so beautiful already. Okay, so now I will show you how we achieved this. This is one part of the front. So I'll show you how we achieved this on the other part. Now this is the part I'm here to turn with lining. And if you look closely, I already is I already put um gum stay. Remember we cut two inches interfacing together with it. So I opened up the interfacing, then placed the gum stay here so as to have a good stay. Place the gum stay around the neck. Then this is the interfacing. I hope you understand that. So now Here is the lining we cut out earlier. All we have to do now is to sew the lining from here. Okay, you sew it on this part like this. But remember, we want to fold in this part. We want to fold in this part. 
so that we can have something like this. One so now you open it up and you trim out that one inch from this part, from this interfacing part. So we trim out the one inch just like this. Can you see that? Then we further cut. So we further cut open one inch here. So this point, can you see? So this is what I have. Now I'll take my lining. So I'll take my lining and join it to this place. Then I'll come and show you. All right, so this is what we have now. Can you see? I've taken to the sewing machine. I've taken to the sewing machine and I started stitching from this side. So I started stitching from here to the neck region. All right. So now. This is what we'll do. So this is the interfacing that we left earlier. So now we'll take to the sewing machine. Let me turn it. So now we'll take to the sewing machine. You sew. You bring this one like this. All right, and stitch first. Did you get that? Remember, we have cut this place open with like one inch. Take to the sewing machine and go and stitch this part. All right, so this is the part we cut open one inch. So now, what you will do is you bring it together like this. And you stitch on the right side of the fabric just like this so you stitch that so you stitch like that all right now that we are stitched like that the next thing to do is when you come to this other side when you want to stitch follow this fold already you know we add have one inch already or you can as well take your tape can you see one inch so you fold like that and so Alright, so now that we are done stitching the side, we can now go ahead and close the neck, the neck side, okay? So just like this, make sure your make sure your interfacing is still intact and well folded. Then like this, you stitch. All right, can you see that? All right, so this is what we have for the front neckline. So all I have to do now is to notch it and bring it to the right side. So let's continue. So we are done with the front turning. All we just have to do, remember that part that we cut just now? We have to, so we have to sew this part, okay? 
and that that's it for the front turning so i'll just go and cover up the stitch now okay so i've gone ahead and closed it up with a stitch can you see all i have to do now is to bring it out through the ham hole bring it out through the ham hole right so can you see what we have now this is what we have for the front and um, this is what we, what it look like looks like in the inside can you see how neat it is and i've not even ironed it just imagine when i've given it a good press so this is what we have for the front now let's move to the back so for the back now place it put the lining on the right side and you stitch from down okay so you stitch like this from down then you return it i've gone ahead to add the to sew the lining on it at the right side so all i have to do now is to fold it in with one inch remember the one inch allowance we left earlier so i'll take to the sewing machine now and stitch the two sides with this one inch folded in that's the helming allowance so i'll stitch this side i'll stitch the other side i'll turn the neck then i'll show you i've also turned the neck as you can see all i have to do now is to notch it a little bit be careful not to cut through your sewing just give it a little notch all around like this then I'll bring it out through the ham hole. So I've turned it to the right, right side now. And this is what we have. So now I'll take my... The front piece. And I will place it on it like this. Alright. So I'll go and join it at the shoulder. Just like this. When you put it like this. Alright. Then you use this open you open it up like this then you sew because we want the inner part to be neat so you sew just like this let me do that and show you all right guys so can you see this is what we have we have joined the front to the back and this is it this is where we joined it at the shoulder can you see how neat it is when you do it that way i showed you this is how it will come out so this is what we have now i've gone ahead to lining the sleeve i placed the right side of the small flat on the wrong side of the big flat and i turned the radius like this with 0 0.25 inches then I'll bring it out through that hole, just like this, okay, and turn it to the right side. So that was how we achieved that. This is what we have for, for the flare which will attach to the sleeve. So you can finish it now with a weaving machine. After I've joined the sleeve, to the arm o okay so i'll join the body then attach the flare let me do that and show you okay, so I've, I've gone ahead to attach the sleeve as you can see i've attached the two sleeves so what i want to do now is to join it at the side so i'll join it at the side with one inch I'll join it at the side with one inch from here like this to the down part okay so when I join it like that that is when I'll be able to attach our flare so let me do that and show you the finished look on our mannequin 
thank you so much guys for watching if you had to subscribe to this channel kindly do that if the video has added any value to you remember to click the like button and feel free to share the video thank you thank you thank you so much guys